Welcome back, first graders. So we are going to be in our learn book. So I need you to go ahead and get your learn book. Remember, learn is L, starts with an L, learn book. And it has the blue side on it, OK? And we are going to open up to pages 11 and 12. Remember, 12 is on the back side of 11. So I actually already started this video, but then my computer died, so I have to redo it. Um, but I'm just going to talk you through what I did for numbers two and three. Now, your answers do not have to be the exact same as mine because if you saw different parts than I did, then your answer is going to be a little different. But your whole, so your big daddy number, should be the same as mine. But if these are different, then that is okay. Um, so let's just do these together. Um, I saw this group and this group. This was a group of three, and this was a group of three. And I knew that my three and my three were going to go here and here because these are parts of the whole. And here I can see that these two boxes are coming up together to be a whole. So your whole for number two should have been six. Then for number three, I saw this part and this part. So I had five and two, which once again, they're gonna come into the boxes down here that are going into my big daddy number. Your big daddy number for this one should have been seven. All right, so let's do number four. So for number four, I see a group here and a group here, okay? So in this group, I see four, one, two, three, four. And in this group, I see one, two, three. Now I know that these numbers are gonna go in these boxes because these are my parts that come together to be a whole. And these boxes are coming together to be the whole or the big daddy number. So my four is gonna go here. My three is going to go here. And then to figure out what my big daddy number is, I'm going to count on. So I'm going to say four, five, six, seven. And seven is going to go right there. All right. Now for number five, I'm going to zoom in so that you can see it better. Number five, I see a group right here. And I see a group right here all right so that one group is one two three four and my other group is one two three four okay now where do i put those parts because these are two parts where am i what boxes am i putting those parts in i'm putting them in these two boxes right because these are my parts so I'm going to put four and four. And to find my whole, I'm going to count on. So four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to put my eight here as my whole. For number six, ooh, for number six, I see it as five. And my brain knew that that was five. I saw that and I subitized that. I saw that and I subitized that in my brain, which means I didn't have to count every single one of those dots. And I knew that that was five. And then I see this group and I know that that is three. Okay. So where are, where's my five and my three going? Where do I put those parts? If those are my parts, where am I putting them? I'm putting them down here in these two boxes, five and three. And I'm gonna, I want you to go ahead and count on. So five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now I'm gonna go on to number 12 on the other side or not number 12, page 12. 
and we're going to do number seven. So I see it, a group here and a group here, okay? So how many is in this one? Can you count those for me, please? How many in this one? Four. Okay, what about in this one? How many are in this one? Five. And where do I put my parts again? I put them here and here, remember? Because you always can set, see that these boxes are coming together to this box to make the whole. So let's count on, we're going to start with five. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where am I putting that nine again? Ah, right here. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go down to number nine. Now, number nine, I told you before you did number nine, I told you that this one might be a little tricky. So um, if you didn't get number nine or it was really confusing to you. Okay. If you didn't get number nine or it was really confusing to you, I want you to pay very close attention because I'm going to do it in different colors so that we can talk about it a little easier. So the first way that I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it in blue, okay? So this is going to be, my first way is going to be in blue because, let's read the directions actually, right? How many pieces of fruit do you see? Write at least two different number bonds to show different ways to break apart the total. So the first way that I see this is I see that I have some small fruit over here. So I see one group of small fruit and I see another group of big fruit. So that's the first way that I see them. So that's why it's in blue, okay? So this is a group of how many? Go ahead and count this group for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I see this as a group of six, and I see this as a group of three. Okay, so for this way, I've got two parts, a part of six and a part of three. So I'm going to put six here, and I'm going to put three here. Remember, because my parts come up to my whole. Now I'm going to try and figure out what my total is. So I'm going to do that by counting on. So I'm going to start with my six. Six, seven, eight, nine, okay? So nine is my whole, or my big daddy number. Now I'm gonna do it another way, okay? So pay attention. The other way that I see this is I see that I have some apples and I see that I have some strawberries. So I'm gonna group all of my apples together. Do you see that? And then I'm gonna group all of my strawberries together. Okay, so if I'm looking at my group of apples, I know it's kind of messy, but just try and try and look at that. Let's see, do your best to look at that. Now I gotta make it focus. There we go. All right. So how many apples do you see? I see one, two, three, four, five. I see five apples. How many strawberries do you see? I see one, two, three, four strawberries. So what are my parts for this one? I have one part that's apples and I had how many? Five, so five's gonna go here. And then my other part was strawberries. And how many strawberries did I have? One, two, three, four. So that part's going to go here. Now I have to figure out what my whole is, right? So let's start with our apples and we'll count on the strawberry. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Did you guys get 
the same answer that I did or did you see it the same way or did you see it differently? Because you might have seen it differently. But anyways, awesome job. And now I would like for you to go do your exit ticket and I want you to take a picture of it and send it to me. All right, guys. Bye.